Hello and welcome back and we're continuing our look at mobile apps for different NAS devices and I want to take a slight change today and look back at the TerraMaster NAS, the F4220 that we did the software and hardware overview for over the last week or so and what I want to do is show you guys the mobile app, TNAS Mobile, it's one at the bottom right of the screen there and again, this is another one of the many reasons uh, that I have for thinking TerraMaster is definitely one of those brands that you should all be keeping an eye on there in the background. Because, don't get me wrong, they aren't at the same stage as Synology or QNAP yet. They're definitely not, both in terms of hardware and, for, uh, and software. But what I will say is the acceleration of their research and development is much, much faster than that of QNAP and Synology. And now, because they're using the same hardware and um, CPU, memory, that sort of thing, as QNAP and Synology, and with the latest version of their software, they are definitely a force to be reckoned with. Their software TOS 3.1 is very reminiscent of the Synology and QNAP apps as little as a year and a half to two years ago. So like I say, keep an eye on them because at the low price threshold they're at, and the hardware and software involved, they're definitely one to keep an eye on. Now, much like Synology and QNAP, they have mobile applications. They've got far, far, far fewer than like uh, other bigger brands, but the main app you're ever really gonna need is TNAS. Uh, the TerraMaster app is available from um, Android, iOS, either one of those for you. And as soon as you open the app like this, it will immediately search your local area network for the NAS if you've got it connected. Once again, we've got the F4220 from the previous video. Otherwise, you can click the plus at the top of the screen, and what that will do is let you add the TANS uh, address, which is that um, network, sorry, internet-based access point that you set up before. So if you want, once you set up your TerraMaster with the free DDNS and domain access, which means you can access the NAS from anywhere in the world over the internet. You can enter that same address. I believe ours was nascompares um, slash uh, terramaster.com or whatever it was. And what that does is give you the ability to access that NAS with obviously the admin and password security credentials and whatever authentication you set up on your NAS. But in this case, we're going to go straight into that NAS on our land area network or local area network. Uh, the password and the login is the same as before. And we will log ourselves into this device. So this is our user interface. And again, let's be honest, it's a bit underwhelming. We can't really comp uh, compare it too much to DS file and uh, Q file from Synology and QNAP. But what I will say is it does do all the tasks you need. And it actually manages to merge a few things into one app that Synology and QNAP have separated over different apps. For a start, all files immediately lets you access the directories you've created on this NAS. So for those that watch our video previously, we can see the folder structure that we created before with all of our files and more. We can see all that information, all the stuff that we um, put on our NAS in the previous videos. Moreover, if we make our way back, we can go to album backup. And what this is for is to back up your mobile device to the NAS uh, by whatever directory you want. So a number of photos backed up obviously tells you how many um, you've backed up so far. Backup photos too is where you create the directory that you want your files to go to. Or, uh, album auto backup is so that the device can automatically back up your folders uh, and your individual pictures and files directly to the NAS. And select album for automatically backing up is where you'll select an album such as the 100 media folder and that will now back up that folder as and when you need and of course it says that you can pause the backing up if the power threshold on your phone dips below 20 percent and you can turn that on and off as needed and again as you can see number of photos backed up there at the top it's scanned 89 files and it will back those up um, when you initiate a backup or you can set it up automatically task list is something for if on the nas you're conducting um, files, copies, backups, and more. This just gives you a general idea of everything the NAS is doing in the background and lets you pause it, stop it, and more. Um, now, once again, this is where those that last couple of apps is where they've merged file managers and NAS management tools together into one app. Um, because if you go into settings, you can say um, regarding if you want the uploads to only happen over Wi-Fi, whether you want to empty the cache in the background of the phone that's, that's generated, drawing backups and more, and of course, version information there about the app you're using. Again, I'm not going to say this is a particularly showy app. It really isn't. 
Compared with the rest of TOS 3.1, it is a little limited, but with the NAS at the price threshold it arrives on, I would personally think this is still a good little functioning, uh, functioning mobile application. Once again, for Android or iOS. How it compares with the Synology, QNAP, Thekus, Acer Store file management apps, I would say the, T, um, the Terramaster NAS app does still have a lot of features to add, including definitely the ability to have a much more... Um, uh, just a more appealing user interface because it's not exactly earth shatteringly pretty. I mean, right now we can try and click on any of these pictures just to open them up. We're still looking at the Christmas albums from previously. If you select a picture, there we are, and ignore the blurriness. This is just the fact that I'm not a very good photographer, which isn't good. And then, of course, you can choose whether you want to download the file, rename the file, or delete it. And again, there's more options on the bottom right for creating more directories and folders but you can't create playlists you can't create slideshows and there's just little things like that that are seemingly missing from this application but otherwise this has been the file management app for TerraMaster NAS do check out the other videos regarding that um, NAS platform do check out my other mobile application uh, overviews that we're going to be doing soon and otherwise thank you so much for watching and do check out the next video